head-to-head, Brent. How does that affect what you expect from this game? This could be a very cerebral game. Maybe some cat-and-mouse stuff going on with how much experience is on the floor. There should be plenty of high IQ ball play out there. So here's the Clippers starting group. It's deflected. It's not going to go for him. One twenty-seven left in the first quarter of the game. And it's ABC with a rebound. Now the Clippers with it. To the inside. That won't go. Misses his first shot of the game. Defense as tough as it comes right there. He's a hard man to deny when he gets the ball to the rim. And rejected. To the wing. Right side. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Coming out swinging and hitting the game's first bucket. Well, for us, it'll be interesting. Can they keep that kind of pace up all game long? And just over a minute played here to start the game. Pocket four. And the dunk to finish it off. How you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Just over a minute and a half played here in this one. The three. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Shortly for the start of the second quarter. Two. The Clippers. Two. Good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. And guys, what's your take on the Bulls so far? I really like the attitude they've displayed here early on. Yeah, I think they've controlled the momentum Football. and that is showing up. So here are the five for the Clippers to start the second. So it's the Clippers now. From outside, off the mark. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Get the rebound. He's now one for two with that bucket. Well, he takes care of salvaging that possession for the offense by getting on the offensive glass. There's a minute 17 left to the second. Six to shoot. Hits the rim on the way in, and the bucket is good. Fading away, he buries that one in traffic. Takes great body control to make that one go. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Drops in the three. You've got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out. He brings it. Chicago foul. Number 41. First personal foul. First team foul. Substitution on the court. There's 37 seconds left in the half. Launches it. From downtown. Can't get it to drop. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. 17 seconds left in the second quarter. Five on the 
clock. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Number 25. First personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Chicago. Number eight. One shot. Five ticks left in the first half of basketball. But if it goes, no good. Misses at the buzzer. And we fit with a score. The Bulls. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Clippers. Greetings. It was a closely Ladies contested first quarter for Chicago. Oh, the period wrapped up with the teams on level ground and the score tied. They took control in the second quarter, ending the half up by six. Kenny, your thoughts on how the Bulls are playing? There's been a ton of energy in this building tonight. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. first half we saw a pretty tight battle we'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime the three-point shot changed the game clearly but did you see it becoming the centerpiece of so many teams offense Brent I think it was inevitable in a way BA but the way it got introduced to the league and the way that the seven seconds or less Phoenix Suns adapted to the three-point line and then eventually what the Rockets were doing kind of came in like a flood each year we're seeing more and more guys who we wouldn't think should be shooting threes now capable of not only taking them but making them and so that goes for every position that makes the game very dangerous and for the Clippers can't hit from the elbow well he finds some space in that in-between gap there too bad he can't release that one on target What 11 left to play in the third quarter here. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Plenty of room to knock down that one. The assist. Chicago leading. And if you're just joining us, we play just over a minute here in the third. Not going to go that time. The Clippers have gone just one of three in the second half. And he lobs it up. The beautiful setup on the alley -oop. Great catch, great flush. Break for the Clippers. The shot won't fall. And the Bulls shooting only 38% from the floor. Not great. take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. So helpful to the offensive versatility when your bigs can create freeing everybody up and that cut was wide open. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. And for the Clippers. Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Fires, top of the key. The shot misses. 
passes. Good contest. Can't let him have open shots from mid-range. Pulls it from the corner. That shot, no good. Indeed giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing. That's really well. Come on now, guys. That's flat-out insane. Hey, when's the last time you saw a jam like that? We've got 108 left to play in the fourth. Yeah! And now they trail by just four. That's a move you won't see many guys make. Impressive stuff. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk real quick. They trail by six. There's 49 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. And Duck fans, who wants a free T-shirt? And now a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game. You know, you know what's interesting? It, it seems like he's hitting everything he's putting up there. I mean, he's caught fire and just has continued on with the attack. I mean, his ability to pick the D apart, wow. So impressive, so incredible. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. During that last break, Coach Chiron was the advice for the team. He thinks they're still very much in this game, saying it's right there, but it's on us to take care of it. We have to make it happen. Hoping to inspire his team here. Thank you for that, Allie. At the line for one. Chicago. Three point lead. They'll probably slow things down now. Burn the clock while you have the lead. I like that. They can't go empty on any of their possessions from here on out. Can't come away empty. That would be the nail in the coffin. Great teamwork and great timing. Oh, spectacular play. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Six. And it's good. Taking people to school with moves like that. Time, Time called call. here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. They're trailing by three. Seven it's seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. And only Chicago Lovable. Seven seconds left in the game. No good on the quick three. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. First yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. Chicago calls timeout. Chicago timeout call. They're in front by three. Only two seconds left to play in the fourth. You team. All right, fans. An intentional foul right there. Number nine. First personal foul. Second team foul. He gets the first, and that gives him a four-point cushion. Number seven. And so he drops them both, and it's a five-point game. Ooh, I think that's a wrap, and I can tell you, you can't have more pressure-packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game. So the Bulls win it. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit.